tutorial. So um, today I want to um, talk to you about the basics of using a DSLR camera and shooting in manual mode. Um, so you'll see here on the top of the DSLR camera, um, all this dial here with all these little letters and icons. Um, when you want to shoot in manual, it's really important that you pay attention to the setting. Um, you don't want to shoot in shutter or aperture priority if you want to do full-on manual mode where you have complete control over your exposure settings, and that would be the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. Um, so you'll turn that dial around to the M, and that will now put you in manual mode. Um, so there's a few really basic things that I want to walk through on the camera. Um, just a few components, how to change the SD card and things like that. And then I'm gonna show you how to adjust a few of these settings. Um, obviously it's going to vary based on whether you have a Nikon or a Canon. For this tutorial, I'm gonna um, show you on a Nikon. Usually um, if you move up in model, so I'm just using a basic, this isn't the camera I usually shoot with. Um, this is actually one of our classroom cameras, but um, most people starting out are gonna use a basic camera like this, which is a Nikon D3100. Um, it's kind of the a starter DSLR, I would say. Um, but so to kind of jump in here, on um, the right side of the camera, you're gonna notice um, it says card, and if you slide that open, that is where you will insert your SD card, and you push it into place and close it back. Um, your camera will not take more than a couple pictures if you do not have the SD card. And when you do take pictures without the SD card, it's only going to do it as kind of like a demo. Um, I'll get more into um, storage size of your SD card um, and shooting in JPEG versus RAW in, um, in the tutorial, JPEG versus RAW. So make sure you check that one out um, if you have questions concerning that. Um, so from here, we have the back of the screen. Um, to get the display to come on, on the top, there's the little info button right here. So you would push that. Well, let's turn the camera on first. How about that? So camera goes on um, and by default, the menu comes up. If it goes off after a few seconds, you just push the info button right here. Um, so like this. Okay, so I'm gonna push that. Um, from here, you'll see all of the settings displayed. Um, we have the shutter speed, aperture, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Um, you'll also see right now the quality is normal. That means um, I am shooting in like a JPEG quality instead of shooting in RAW, um, just to show you for this. Um, let me show you how to change that here in just a second. Um, but to start, let's go with the basic settings. So if you want to know how to change your shutter speed, this dial on the back, this little dial right here is going to change that shutter speed. So one one hundredth of a second, if you wanna to go to a much slower shutter speed, you can go down further and further all the way to, that's one second. Um, you know, you can go even slower than that. Um, and then you can go much faster. So if you wanna to go to, you know, normally you're gonna be shooting somewhere around 200 up to maybe 500 or so. Um, so that is the shutter speed and make sure you check out the tutorials on what shutter speed is all about, aperture, ISO, um, if you haven't already. Um, those kind of um, follow in line after these. So next we have the aperture setting. To get to that, that's gonna drive me crazy there, showing you guys that. Um, the, the aperture setting, which is shown as an f-stop, to change that, see if I just use the dial by itself, we're doing the shutter speed. So to change the aperture, you're going to press this plus or minus on the top and then turn your dial. And that will allow you to adjust and you can see the, um, the lens closing more or becoming a, you know wider, more open. Um, and then that's the lowest we can go with this particular lens. If you use a different lens, you, um, you can go lower there. So the next setting that we wanna change is the ISO. Right now it's set on 1600. 
So there's an FN, little function button on the side. If you hold that down, um, you can see the ISO come up and you can adjust that. You can go to 100, up to 3200, um, or high one, high two. And again, depending on the camera that you have, um, the ISO setting is going to be able to go much, much higher um, with a better quality camera. Um, so keep that in mind if um, you see someone that has a camera and that goes up to like, you know, 15,000 and you're not understanding why yours doesn't, it's just the type of camera. Um, so from here, a couple other things that I wanna show you um, how to adjust would be how to shoot in raw. So if you go to the menu, um, and here we have the playback menu, so that's just showing you like how everything is displayed. Um, the shooting menu, so from here we would go to image quality, and we're going to select raw. If you wanted to have a raw file plus a JPEG file, um, you can select that one as well. It does take it longer to produce a, um, a playback, the um, thumbnail on the back, like a preview. If you do, so it does take it longer to register both files. Um, so if you wanted to set it on raw, you would just hit okay. Um, and you can see now we are shooting in raw. Um, the white balance, if you want to adjust white balance, you can certainly do that from here. Um, to be honest, I think it's easier just to keep it on auto and then correct that quickly in um, camera raw. Um, and again, all of these tutorials um, that are more in depth on each of these settings um, are on our website or our YouTube channel if you haven't um, seen those. A couple more things I wanna show you, just covering the basics here, um, are the battery, so on the back, if you want to open the battery and slide that out, um, charge it, pop it back in. I highly recommend if you're um, taking pictures of clients that you get a backup battery and make sure they are both charged um, before you head to, um, to a shoot, for sure. Um, and then changing the lens. Um, so the button on the side here, if you hold that down and twist um, clockwise, you can pull that off. And then to put it back on, you're gonna go counterclockwise. And this does actually vary based on the camera model. It's, it's, um, it's funny, sometimes you spin them counterclockwise to take them off and clockwise to put them back on. Um, other than that, just a few more things. Um, if you wanted to use the on-camera flash, um, the little flash button on the side, I highly recommend getting um, an off-camera flash or a top mount flash to use. Um, this is just harsh light. It's awful, in my opinion, to use. Um, and then back in the menu, a um, few more things like the setup. Um, and then the back in the, uh, let me go back to the shooting menu. If we scroll down a little further, um, metering, um, stuff like that, which you would not get into until you become a more advanced photographer. Um, and then finally, um, the playback. So if you wanna see the pictures you've taken, you push the little play button here. Um, folder contains no images, obviously. Um, but if you took some pictures, then you can do the zoom in and zoom out to kind of um, check the focus on you know, your subject's face and things like that. Um, so that pretty much does it for um, the basics of using a DSLR camera. Um, like I said, please check out the tutorials on um, the basic camera settings such as aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Um, I think you'll find them really helpful in getting a jump start to um, your photography. Thanks for watching Thanks this for video. Watching. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel. 